I'm Ryan with Best Delegate, and I'm here with Charlene Rahman, uh, the Secretary General of Berkeley Model United Nations, Berkeley's high school conference. Uh, thank you for having me. Thanks for having us. Uh, it looks like a wonderful conference. This is running really well. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um, I've had a chance to walk through to the different committees, interact with advisors, with delegates mm -hmm. themselves. So mm -hmm. the fact that everyone is smiling and seems to be having a good time just automatically makes me excited. So. What, what would you say is the best part of being Secretary General? I would say the best part is the chance to uh, see all of your hard work put into place. Mm -hmm. You get a chance to be involved in every aspect of the whole conference, from the logistics issues, from special events, from interacting with head chairs, getting to interact with advisors too during advisory meetings. I feel like you just get a whole comprehensive view of like what your conference is doing and what's taking place. So I think that's my favorite part of the job. Just like seeing it all. Like just seeing happening. everything. Because I feel last year I was a head chair, so of course mm -hmm. I was totally focused on my committee. But here just being able to walk and see what everyone else is doing in their committees, like what's happening you know, in terms of women trafficking in Europe, mm -hmm. what's going on with that crisis. Like, just really exciting. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, how many how many students and how many schools are? So from registration Friday night, we recorded fifteen hundred thirty seven delegates nice. from ninety five schools. Wow! Wow! Almost a hundred schools. Almost a hundred. We had a hundred and nine, but a few dropouts, so it's sure. still ninety five. Yeah. And uh, it seems like a lot, definitely from California. Um, but I've met some from as far as Ohio. We Arizona, actually have, and I still heard some international ones. We have about seven international schools. Um, we have a partnership with Glissman in South Korea where whichever delegate wins dabbles at that conference, they get an automatic bid to come to our conference and we work wow. with them to give them some special funding for their international price like fees to come yeah. over here. That's, uh, and I noticed that you guys have a, a scholarship program. Mm -hmm. Actually, how does, how does that work? That's really cool. So it's an alumni scholarship where our dedicated alumni make you know charitable donations. And we have a separate endowment fund just for that reason, where from the past few years, it's usually been a total of 2000 being given up. Mm -hmm. But we've been getting an increase in amount of scholarships. So this year, we actually gave out $4,000 worth wow. in scholarship money. And this goes towards anything from, you know, their traveling fees, their delegate dress fees, food for the weekend, hotel fare, anything wow. that they have to provide money for to mm -hmm. make this conference like happen for them. So that's that's really cool that as a mm -hmm. conference you can make that happen for delegates. It's something that I wish you know. I think a lot of conferences are interesting, interested mm -hmm. in doing. A few have been able to provide. It's really cool that it's it's happening here. Yeah. Really. So from my experience. I think that I learned the most as a delegate from being able to attend numerous different conferences mm -hmm. and see different conference styles, different delegates, how they interact. So that's why we just really wanted to emphasize that. We want people to go out to as many conferences as they have, as of course, experience our conference. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, What would you say makes Berkeley MUN stand out? What, what is it about the conference? I would say the thing about the conference that makes us stand out is you know, I feel we really focus on making an experience for our delegates to turn them into global citizens by participating. Um, you know, first we have the alumni scholarship that allows them to get here, mm -hmm. but you know, we also like to emphasize our conference cause that we've been doing. And right. this year, from opening ceremonies, there was two different causes that we supported, right. and one of them targets global illiteracy. So right now, delegates can donate money in their respective committees, and that money would be going towards fighting poverty and HIV by providing girls an education. With CAMPED. With CAMPED. Yes. And then, you know, we have the 2048 project, and, you know, they're graciously enough to donate 1,500 books for all of our students. Wow. They provided signed copies for our advisors, and it was also something for, you know, once they get out of committee, they can go on the website for the project mm -hmm. and sign that International Bill of Rights or even provide comments for it. And actually, you know, instead of just simulating committees, can actually, you know, take that experience from the debate that they've been having over the weekend mm -hmm. and put those skills into action by participating in this international project that's going on. I think that's really cool. I think that's something that Maldi and his community has been driving towards more and more, that mm -hmm. your experience doesn't end when the conference ends. 
and they Definitely. keep everything on. Yeah. I think that's really cool. That so that's something we've been trying to do. Like, I just feel like when delegates walk around at Berkeley, you know, they see so many things that show like the power of free speech and the mm -hmm. spoken word. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's why we try to have as many committees on campus, just so they get that feel of their surroundings of like yeah. the power of the word and that you know, hopefully that just inspires them to like take that, you know, drive to make positive change in the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have connected it to our social, Saturday social, we have a delegate dance and it started last year where when I was the USG of special events, um, our conference cause was to fight world hunger. So I noticed that, you know, especially in the Berkeley community, you do see a lot of people that, you know, don't have homes, you know, go without food. So I really wanted to show that, you know, yes, as NUN delegates, we focus on world issues, you know, we represent all 192 countries, but, you know, even outside, like, once they leave campus on the streets, they see, you know, how poverty impacts even the U.S. So right. last year during our delegate dance, we had a canned food drive. So if delegates brought canned food, they got extra casino money for the casino at the dance. So Very cool. we decided to continue that this year, and we're having a book drive. Where again, mm -hmm. if delegates bring any type of book from children's books, even up to textbooks, mm -hmm. and it'll be donated to the Children's Book Project in San Francisco, which will be helping the illiter illiteracy in our local community. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. How, how long have you been involved in MUN? So I did MUN all four years at Cerritos High School, and okay. yeah. this is my fourth year doing Berkeley MUN. Wow. Okay, so eight years. Eight years. This, this <laughs> marked your high school and college experience. Definitely made me who I am today. So. That's, what would you say Model UN means to you? I would say Model UN means to me inspiration. I think it just is that drive that keeps me going. Uh, you know, for BMUN, we tend to focus more on providing that experience for high school students, giving back. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it just gives me that inspiration that, you know, change is possible, you know, just by getting involved, you know, having an active voice, like, mm -hmm. a lot of things can happen, and I feel like it keeps me motivated to, you know, try to make an impact. But no, that's, this is something I've been thinking about, that at the end of the day, on this, like, emotional level, Model UN is a motivating experience. It definitely is, yeah. And uh, I mean, it's really cool that it inspires you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what you're doing uh, next year? Yes. So, um, Especially due to NUN, um, I'm actually going to be part of Teacher America's LA Corps. Cool. So um, starting June 26, I go to Institute, and starting in August, I'll have my own group of students. And wow. I'm kind of excited, especially that it's in the LA area, since yeah. SoCal does have a heavy NUN base. Right. I'm like kind of excited to see if I can start like my own NUN class. Yeah, you're gonna do NUN. I can. Yeah. I can, but let it go. <laughs> It's, and this, uh, you're the third secretary general I've met who's I going heard. on to do TFA. I, I think that's awesome. I think there's a connection. <laughs> yeah. uh, very cool. No. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much yeah. for having me. Thanks for coming. We yes. really appreciate it. And uh, good luck at the conference. Thank you. <laughs>